I am a big fan of the NFL. Cheerleaders. <laughs> and today I'm going to be ranking all of their uniforms from S tier to D tier. What gives me the authority to do this, you may ask? Well, I was a dancer for 13 years and I'm a lover of all things sparkly and cute and costumey. So really nothing, <laughs> but it's gonna be fun. We are going in alphabetical order, starting with the 49ers because they're a number, so why not do them first? <laughs> Let me preface this by saying I am slightly, a tiny, a little bit biased towards like the traditional NFL cheerleader outfit. I'm talking like the cute little skirts, the boots. So the 49ers have kind of strayed from that traditional NFL cheerleader look. And I will say, as far as teams that have tried to like modernize the cheerleader uniform, they've done a pretty good job. Some of them haven't, <laughs> you'll see. You know, it's more sporty, a little bit more coverage and support. I will say the one thing that I don't love about these uniforms is the sneakers. Uh, you know, part of it might be because in high school I was on the dance team and for our hip hop routine, keep in mind this is in like 2011, we had like a very similar shape of sneaker, but we wore like stupid tutus with ours. It was bad. Other than that, I think this is a cute outfit. I love the little sequin details that they have on there. Since their whole theme is gold rush, like mining for gold, I think they missed an opportunity need to do like a really beautiful golden glowing sparkling outfit any like cheer directors that are watching this hit me up if you want some design help <laughs> i'm gonna give the 49ers uniform a b next team is the bangles here's my beef with the bangles <laughs> the little tiny town that i grew up in had a college that also was the bangles and it also was orange and black not only for that reason for other reasons too it's just feeling a little bit collegey to me you know what i mean i don't know if it's like the bangle stripes but they're taking their mascot very literally it's not bad so i'm gonna give the bangles a c <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just <clears throat> You know how we're talking about <laughs> teams that just take the the theme a little too seriously. <laughs> Why they gotta go do the chaps? How, also, how do they dance in these? Are you kidding me? That looks like a terrible time. <laughs> it's too woody from Toy Story for me. I think this one's a D for me. If it weren't for the chaps, they might've ranked higher, but blah. I'm sorry. Guys, we're not starting off very strong. I promise it gets better. Next we have the Buccaneers. I know these girls don't like these uniforms. I know none of these girls are excited to put this on for a game. This is coming from the legging queen. I love a legging. There's just so much going on here. <laughs> they didn't have to go this hard. <laughs> the branding. I don't know what uniforms they had before this, but look at this cute vintage throwback. You know, it could be fun after this video to go rank the vintage 90s NFL uniforms. I'm really sorry if any of these are like your team. Just know this is strictly my very unprofessional opinion. Bucks are a D, sorry guys. Next we have the Cardinals. Okay. I like this one. It's a lot of white, but I love the silhouette of this one. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like in a picky world, if you could break up the white with like white top red skirt, but I like it. I'm gonna give them an A. Speaking of a lot of red, next up we have the Chiefs. I think I really like this one. It's cute, it's flattering, it looks very functional. The little rhinestone details are super cute. Okay, and see, the Chiefs, they do do a legging moment sometimes, and it works. All red leggings, it's not that difficult. <laughs> I think I like the sneakers. They have like the little Chiefs on the front. I like it, let's give it an A. Next up, the Colts. Colts, not Colts. <laughs> they probably get that joke a lot. <laughs> I think I really like this one. The horseshoe is very, very in your face, but the actual silhouette of the whole outfit, I like the high neck. I love a skirt. I just, I love a cute skirt. I like the ankle boots. Oh my gosh, and at Christmas they do a cute little blue Santa suit. All right, Colts, you get an A. Next up, we have the Washington Commanders. I'm so confused. <laughs> Why can I not find their current outfit? Like the pictures that are coming up are this or this, which are very, very, very different things. Okay, it's not just me. They changed their uniform a lot. I'm giving them a C for confusion. <laughs> Moving on to the Cowboys, the ca guys. You already know. There's a reason that when we were little girls, we all wanted to be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader when we grow up. They're adorable. So because they're so classic, and because it's just a cute uniform, Dallas Cowboys are S tier. 
However, Dallas Cowboys are not my favorite NFL cheer uniform. You're gonna see which one is. When I first started working out, like actually working out, not just going to dance in high school, on my little iPod, I downloaded the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader yoga and I would like set it precariously on my bed, like propped up by some pillows and I would follow along with it on my tiny little screen. I loved them, I wanted to be them. Moving on to the dolphins. Okay, they've got an interesting color scheme to work with this teal and orange. And I feel like they've done a pretty good job with it. I mean, there's not much to not like about these uniforms. Like it's a cute shape, the little skirt, the rhinestones. They didn't go too hard with either of the colors. <laughs> oh, and I like the palms. How the palms incorporate all of the team colors. That's cute. Surprisingly, I really am digging the dolphins. Oh, should I give them an A or a B? She's cute, I'm gonna give it an A. <laughs> Eagles, okay. Very simple, I don't know about it. It's cute, it's not like, wow, that's the cutest uniform in the whole NFL by any means, but really flattering. I like the ruche on the top, the shorts are a little bit higher waisted. Mixed feelings on the silver booties. What do you think about the silver booties? Uh, I'm gonna give them a B. Falcons, what do you got for us? Okay, okay. <laughs> Falcons have a couple looks. One of them is this bodysuit. I love a bodysuit, I really do. I actually work out in them all the time. It's such an interesting choice. We're not gonna judge that one though because I think that they wear this little black set more. This is cute. It's just not like a standout. So I think I have to give it a C. The Jaguars. Um, I think you already know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Tough palette to work with. Um, a very leopardy top. The Jaguars are literally one step away from pulling a full Kylie Jenner and just having a Jaguar head on their uniform. D. Lions. I think the Lions might get the award for the most boring uniform. I'm really sorry. I actually don't hate the tops. I'm like, they have a long sleeve version. That's actually pretty cute. When they do the shorts outfits, that's cuter than their skirts outfits. Um, B for boring, but not bad. <laughs> Next up, the Panthers. Um, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> and it looks like they do it with like a little black boot. Not my favorite, but I don't hate it. C, the Patriots. Oh, I have mixed feelings about this one. Okay, from a distance, looking at the outfit as a whole, I like it. It's cohesive. They're wearing literal George Washington jackets. <laughs> It, uh, the jackets are kind of silly to me, but love the top, love the shorts, love the palms. You know, I, I'm gonna give them an A though still. Yeah. Also, they're one of the teams that's like trying to do something different with the male cheer uniforms. I don't know if I'm feeling it, but I do appreciate them trying. <laughs> because most NFL cheerleaders, the girls are like, they're beautiful, leaving no crumbs. And then the men are just like. So good on the Patriots for throwing in some mesh and rhinestones. <laughs> okay, are you ready for the next team? This is my favorite NFL uniform. It's the Raiders. And I have had the privilege of seeing these ladies in person and the uniforms are fantastic. They're like the perfect amount of cheese because they have like a little bit of the pirate thing going on, but they are so flattering on all the girls. They're so cute. The silver details, the cute cut on the shorts. They're perfect. S tier. Absolutely. Next we have the Rams. Something's off. Something's off about it. We love the rhinestones. The skirt is so low cut too. I think they get the award for the lowest cut skirt in the NFL. <laughs> I don't know, is it just too much blue? Is that, is that what's weird about it? Um, B, I think, yeah. The Ravens. All right, um, gosh, this is another one that like, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel NFL for some reason. I think it's just too blocky. And I feel like it contradicts everything I've said so far because like long sleeve crop tops and skirts and boots are usually my thing. It's mostly something about the top. I think I like the skirt with the little mesh with the rhinestones underneath. That's a cute little detail. Let's see, the Saints. Okay, so you know how I was saying that the 49ers should do like a really cute gold moment? Um, The Saints tried to do a gold moment. I don't love it though. I don't hate the idea of 
NFL cheerleader dresses. I think those can be done in a really cute way. This one's not my favorite though. There's gotta be a way to do gold really cute that doesn't look like superhero-y, you know what I mean? Wait, they have a one piece outfit too and I kind of don't hate their. Like I might like the one piece better than their dress. I'm gonna give all of it a C though. The Seahawks. All right, I feel for the Seahawks because once again, this is a hard color combination. Navy, blue, and lime. Okay, so that aside, like if we picture this uniform in a different color, I still don't love it though. It's kind of ice skatery. <laughs> They've definitely had worse uniforms. Um, so I'll give this one a C, the Texans. Okay, I think the Texans are cute. Like kind of similar vibes to the 49ers where they went for more like a sporty look. They incorporated all their colors. The little belt is very Texas. Um, the latexy red boots were an interesting call. <laughs> I feel like if it were my choice, I would have gone for like a matte red boot, but that's really my only like complaint, I guess. Uh, yeah, they're cute, I think. I'll, I'll give them a B. Titans cheer. Ooh, I don't think I've ever seen this one before. <laughs> they're cute. It's very simple. The like slits in the skirt are kind of interesting. I really like the top and then the way that they interchange it with the leggings. I think they've done a good job overall. Little ankle boots with the skirt, white Nikes with the leggings. I'll give it a, I'll give it a B. Last but not least, the Vikings. Um, okay, don't like the ones when they put the Viking huge on their top. I'm going off of the one that the Pro Bowl cheerleader is wearing and it's this one. This one's much, much better. I do appreciate like the unique neckline that they have happening. Like I said, it's better than some of their other ones, but it's still like a C for me. Okay, here is our complete tier list. Um, But that was fun. Let me know if you want to do a vintage one sometime. Also, comment below. Let me know who you want to win the Super Bowl or who you think is going to win the Super Bowl. Or if you're like me and you're just neutral because your team's not at the Super Bowl. Anyway, leave you want to come and say bye? Oh my gosh, can you guys see him right now? He's living his best life back here on the couch. <laughs> and here's the guy. Say bye, YouTube.